You have to be able to listen so that we can find a common ground that makes it possible for everyone to feel at home and not stranger in the society we are trying to create. I think patience is important and, and you have, have to have uh, respect for. Sometimes you also have to have a courage to talk to people you who may have committed atrocities, but without their co cooperation, you couldn't actually bring a better life for everybody in the society. There are conflicts all over. I, I remember that when I, I, was, I was 15, when I, my family moved from one city in Finland to another, and I started in a new school there. Then I joined the local YMCA to play basketball there. But my colleagues soon found out that I was not so terribly good in, 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 in scoring in the basketball field. But I, I was good in, in when, when we then came out of a game, I was sort of making peace when, when we had some problems among ourselves. So I never thought it at that time, but my colleagues have ever since said that you actually started, Marty, your peace mediation from the locker rooms. And, and I, I think they were right. Education is something that continues throughout your life. We all always need to refresh our knowledge, learn more and have an open mind. I have been able to learn from every piece negotiations that I have participated with my colleagues. And I have also learned one thing, that I don't know everything. The better life in your own country, in your own surroundings, depends on your efforts. And when, when we live in that sort of spirit, we can get a better society and solve the problems. They sometimes look overwhelming, but I can assure you that the most tricky problems can be solved when we work together.